And we are joined now by Danish journalist Fleming Rose, the editor behind the publication of Cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad back in 2005. He's now written a book, uh, The Tyranny of Silence, How One Cartoon Ignited a Global Debate on the Future of Free Speech. Mr. Rose, thank you for joining us. What is that future after this attack? I'm a little bit pessimistic, although I'm very happy to see the kind of uh, solidarity that the world is showing with uh, Charlie Hebdo. But my fear is, you know, when we have to go back to our daily work uh, and how this is going to translate into a day-on-day -day editorial line, I think, I'm afraid that we will get back to, you know, where we were before. And you know, I mean, we've I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from my own experience. And you I mean, know, we've seen examples. Um, uh, of that this week, you know, just this morning, a, a German publication attacked. You wrote an article saying this week, we must all be Charlie Hebdo now, yet your own nose, newspaper chose not to rerun the cartoons. In your mind, was that backing down or being responsible? It was both. It was backing down. Uh, but it was a consequence of the kind of situation we have found ourselves in over the past nine years. Uh, several uh, terrorist attacks against the newspaper have been foiled. In 2010, a cartoonist was nearly killed by a man who broke into his house with an axe. Uh, so we have been in this situation for the past nine years under huge pressure. So yes, we caved in, unfortunately, but uh, we did it. Um, uh, because a lot of people are afraid and uh, people at the top of our, our, our organization were thinking about the security of its employees. And I, I perfectly understand that uh, 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 being in, in, uh, in, in, in this situation, whether or not I, I, I would have welcomed the republication or not. And you've written that in the wake of these kinds of attacks, we need not only sensitivity training, but insensitivity training. What does that mean? It means that in a democracy, you have many rights. You have the right to free speech, freedom of religion, freedom of movement, freedom of assembly, the right to vote. But the only right you should not have in a democracy, and especially a multicultural democracy, is a right not to be offended. Because in a multicultural society, we are all very different. And this difference in terms of culture, ethnicity and religion means that we also have very different ways to express ourselves. So, so it's, it's, we have to be clear that a multicultural society should not lead to less uh, freedom of speech, but in fact to more freedom of speech, to more diverse ways of uh, expressing ourselves. Mr. Rose, thanks very much for your time this morning.